the naysayers said it wouldn't happen. We sure did. But I've been preparing for this my whole life. Really? Yeah. The inaugural Australian Kilt Lovers Festival. <laughs> a whole weekend of haggis, bagpipes and bonny lasses. Ah. What did you think I was talking about? The apocalypse. <laughs> Holy shit! This is it, Randy. It's the end of days. Oh, you're such a drama queen. Mother Nature is raining her unrelenting fury down upon mankind. I'm sure it'll blow over. Randy, have you seen the movie Armageddon? No. Deep Impact? No. 2012? No. The Day After Tomorrow? Negative. The Omega Man? No. War of the Worlds? No. We're lucky for you. I'm completely prepared for this exact scenario. Really? Yep. I rented them all on DVD. <laughs> Disaster movie marathon! Wow! <laughs> Run! Quick! Hurry, Elijah Wood! Don't let the wave ensconce you! He's not gonna make it! I love a cliffhanger! <laughs> what was that? I never told you this, but our house is built on a fault line. That's why the rent's so cheap. Tectonic discount. Sammy, how long does an apocalypse last for? Until everybody's dead. <gasps> what are we going to do? Well, if we stay, we're likely to be burnt alive by lava. But if we leave, we'll be rounded up by the four horsemen of the apocalypse, skinned alive and tossed into a fiery chasm. What's your poison? What was the first option again? survivors. Oh, in hell hard is it to survive the apocalypse? Run, scream, hide, and so on until, until you survive the apocalypse. You know what this means, Randy? What? We don't have to return our DVDs anymore. Sammy, it's Armageddon! I know, and it costs three bucks to hire per night. If we survive for a week, that's a saving of 21 bucks in our pockets. Sammy, focus! Bruce Willis! Lots more ahead on Good News World, including our review and critique of the pictures of the week. <laughs> Tony Abbott shows Afghani asylum seekers it's perfectly safe to go home. At last, an approved Catholic condom. Stay with me. Stay with me, children of God. Time now to cross to our always lovely New Zealand correspondent. What's happening with our Kiwi cousins today, Adele? Adele, are you there? What's happening with our Kiwi cousins, Adele? Well, I don't know, Paul. I, I didn't know you had family here, so you're probably better equipped to answer that than I am. No, it's a figure of speech, our, our Kiwi cousins, because we're so close. You're our, our friends, like our cousins, we say our Kiwi cousins. Uh, Australia cousins, Kiwi. What's the news, Adele? What's the news? Well, I've made up a joke, Paul. Oh, you've made up a joke, Adele? What's this? What am I being, Paul? What uh, am I? Uh, a microwave. Uh, <laughs> I see, that's nice. But in actual news, it's been a very sad day today in New Zealand. The Department of Conservation was supposed to euthanise a whale that got stranded on an east coast shoreline. 
Unfortunately, when they got there, the whale had already shot itself because it couldn't handle another beached ass joke. <laughs> That's a very, very sad story, Adele. I don't think you were even listening to it, Paul. Yeah, the whale, you're talking about the whale and how it shot itself. I, I, I didn't just... think you were listening, I just thought you were fantasising about me. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I... Well, I see how you look at me with your hot little front-facing eyes. And I know that when everyone else is hearing a sad story about a whale that blubbered itself to death, you're away in a fantasy world imagining that it's me frolicking in the sea instead. <laughs> I, I really wasn't, Adele. There's no point in denying it, Paul. You know that there are sparks between us, and not all of them are caused by the faulty plug on the bicycle generator. <laughs> Adele, I really don't have any... You know, don't, don't be have... afraid, okay. Paul. I won't judge you. I'm very broad-minded. You're broad-minded? Well, everyone says I have a wide forehead. Oh. <laughs> anyway, perhaps it's time for everyone else to see the pictures that you make in your head about me when I read stuff about whales. Adele, I don't think you're a whale. I don't have any... I fam... know you don't think I'm a whale. You think I'm a mermaid. <laughs> a mermaid? <laughs> oh, you got uh, starfish on your on your on your uh, top. And, uh, oh. Look, Paul, I'm oh. in the water. Oh. Adele. Paul, I'm a mermaid. Oh. Look. Oh, you're diving down. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Adele, I'm speechless. Well, why are you still making noises then, Paul? Uh, you haven't seen anything either. Look at this. I'm going to dive, Paul. I'm going to dive. <laughs> I'm diving. <laughs> Oh, Adele, extraordinary. Just, just one question, Adele. Should those fish be up in the air like that? They're flying fish, Paul. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, Adele, but we have to go. That was, that was truly something. Next time, Paul, I'll wear my fish nets. Oh. Oh, thank you, Adele. Oh, we're losing contact with Adele. Adele? 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 Yes, Paul? Hello again. Hello, Paul. You're very wet, Adele. <laughs> what I'm more concerned about is where this came from. <laughs> Did Not you give it to me? No. I can't tell which one of us is making the noise. <laughs> is it you or is it me? I think it could be your crabs. <laughs> this has gone a bit strange. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Australia's next top male model. And this week, our plucky contestants completed a grueling and dangerous photo assignment in a giant vat of melted chocolate. It's not a medium I've, I've worked in before. I've done some work with Marspan. No, to me, chocolate was, was excuse me, was new. Despite a spirited performance, Sammy J was distraught. Well, I'd strongly suspect that that chocolate was not fair trade chocolate. I was literally swimming in the blood, sweat and tears of exploited children. And I'm sorry, I didn't really feel for that. The Mercurial Randy is now hot favourite to win the title. As soon as I got out of the chocolate fountain, I went straight over and put my head in the fridge. And it's hardened, and now I'm like a, a bowl of Cotty's Ice Magic. You could hit me with a spoon and just scoop out my brains. It'd be all chilled like an ice cream. Tom's performance was disappointing. He seemed unable to concentrate. Randy said he did something to the chocolate. I'm not sure what he did. But this moustache smells like ammonia. You can lead a man to a fountain of chocolate, but you can't make him not wee in it. A weed in a chocolate fountain. Coming up next, the judges' verdict. 
Plenty more to come on Good News World tonight as our review of the week continues. <laughs> Silvio Berlusconi explains the miracle of birth. <laughs> no longer bound by the responsibilities of office, Silvio Berlusconi makes clear his intentions to fillate the pyramids. <laughs> Well, if you didn't like the other two, you're not going to like this one. <laughs> Silvio Berlusconi explains how you can tell the age of a prostitute. <laughs> be my friend! Be my friend! Be friend. Ahead on Good News World, a survey says 9% of Australian workers admit drinking on the job. 81% too pissed to complete the survey. <laughs> the paternity claim against Justin Bieber is dropped when DNA tests prove conclusively that he's just a big girl. <laughs> the, mother... <laughs> the mother now claims the real father is Lady Gaga. <laughs> Scientologists reject claims that their founder was a transvestite and like being referred to by his full name, Old Mother L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> We interview Satan, Lord of Hellfire, about why his face never appears on toast. <laughs> Eternal optimists grieve after learning that life's rich tapestry has been destroyed by carpet moths. <laughs> and we ask, since Obama accidentally referred to our Prime Minister as Julie, does that allow her one credit to call him Osama? <laughs> pretending to be Julia again. You can call me the Prime Minister. And I'm pretending to be Tony again. You can call me the next Prime Minister. I, I call you something quite different, don't I, Tony? I call you a preening, god-bothering Children, we're talking about hindsight. That's when you look back and think, gee, maybe I could have done things differently. Julia gets hindsight a lot. She's covered in hindsight. She absolutely stinks of hindsight. Well, Tony, perhaps you also get hindsight. Very rarely. Although, in hindsight, there is probably more I could have said no about. I love saying no. Do you have any other policies? No. <laughs> See how much I love it? Ask me anything. Go on. Have you stopped rubbing yourself up against that portrait of John Howard again? No. God, it feels good. Would people really prefer you as Prime Minister? No. Well, you got me that time, but um, mainly it's good. <clears throat> what do you regret, Julia? What I regret, Tony, is that I've had to play with you all year. But playing's fun. All you ever do is say toxic tax and stop the boats, and that makes games of charades very predictable. Three words. Sounds like pop the stunts. And then you disappear overseas when things get too difficult, don't you, Tony? No. Oh, that one felt good. In hindsight, maybe you shouldn't have deserted your party while we were passing the carbon tax. In hindsight, maybe you shouldn't have called the carbon tax the carbon tax when you promised there'd be no carbon tax and then you went and did a big carbon tax. In hindsight, maybe you should have bought a pair of board shorts so we didn't have to look at your saggy little man sack. In hindsight, maybe the voters wished they just voted for the Greens and cut out the middle bitch. What's that sound? It's Christmas, isn't it, children? You know, Tony, there's one thing I definitely regret in hindsight. What's that, Julia? Not talking to Malaysia before you said that except our little refugees? No. Trying to slip the tongue in when you kissed Obama? No. Not twisting the knife a few more times when you stabbed that little mandarin talking tea making e-wax eating bedwetter? Tony! That's a terrible thing to say out loud. <laughs> well, then, in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have said it. Sometimes, kids, it really is best to shut your gob, isn't it? Otherwise, all that comes out is stupidity. Or bad policies. Or no policies. Or incompetence. Or sexism. Or lies. Or the grunting of a Neanderthal who would drag this country back to the Dark Ages because all he's interested in is power for its own sake. <laughs> well, boys and girls, that's all we've got time for. We want to wish you all the best for a festive season. And don't forget to get up early on Christmas Day to give thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ. Or just open your presents and stuff your face. <laughs> Happy holidays! Vote Liberal!